Hey, everybody. Let me see. There we go. I had to mess with the camera just a little bit. I can't turn it because it only swivels up and down, not side to side. Hey, well, let's start the game. This, this game was not designed, not supported by controllers, which sucks if you're trying to uh, play this on the, on the Steam Deck, which definitely would be a reason I'd be playing it, would be on the Steam Deck. That's not magic one bed in a deep sleep. Wake up for him after dream. You left the computer running. Get up. Go make sure it's off. Then try. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I haven't done that. Let's see. We should be back in the black priory. Okay. Yes. It's like I've never had that happen. But I've I've had instances where I I lay down. I'm just about fall asleep, and then I go. Did I close the fridge when I got my water? Get up and check. Hey, I will be back. You're back. How you doing? How you doing, I will? How you doing? We're back to this game. Um, Got the wrong one there, buddy. Remember, he's got a space mill. Hey, Dave, it's easier if you just go at and then type the first letter and bring it up. It's easier to do it that way. Than typing their whole name out. But yeah, I know you, you just... Game, I don't need no game! But how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you? But how are you both doing? I don't know if I asked Dave how he's doing, but I may have forgot. But how are you both doing? I'm I'm doing. I'm doing. We're back in the game here, and we're exploring the whole of this place. As we just murdered a whole bunch of, I'm just gonna call them zombies. They're zombies. They're zombies. That's what they are. Is this? That's a, okay. We have that. We have okay. Obviously, the code has something to do with them, but we're gonna. Purge magic. That could... As you pass through the ancient library, you cannot help but be awestruck by the number and age of the assembled volumes. Surely there are texts here that exist nowhere else in the Empire. I vertical and mobile. That's the best way to be. Well, unless you're sitting down, then you're half vertical. But as long as you're mobile, you're good. It's a melancholy thought. This primary this priory is a time capsule to an age that is long past, and you cannot help but linger for a moment on all that has been lost over the long centuries of steady decline. Uh, well, I'm gonna explore first before we get to the statues. If we can't end up finding uh, some uh, clues to it anyway. You draw out a random volume and examine it on the reticular properties of salts. As you turn the beautifully bound volume over in your hands, you stop. Did you see something move in the shadows? I just want to look at some books. You squint into the darkness, see only rows and rows of books. Then you see it again. It's as if reality itself ripples. To your horror, you realize that you are surrounded by a pack of some kind of chameleonic horrors. I feel I feel like I'm playing Call of Cthulhu now. Okay, we're gonna put me here. That's not me in the slightest! I'm gonna block for these guys, and we're gonna put... Yeah, no, you're staying right there. Amber, you're gonna be right here. Hmm. Actually, I don't know if I want to... Ow! Try to pull my leg up. Instead, I my hand slipped and smacked the bottom of the desk. Now, do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? Do I want to do this? I mean, I could sit there and literally tank both of them. You know what? I think we're, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to... We're going to move me up here. Okay. Uh, Embla, you move here. Move here. You move here. You can tank him. That's what we'll do. Well, aren't you just lovely? Aren't you just lovely? Let's trust in Paris and you're gonna have to go forward. 
Storm of... No, no, not Storm of Steel. That's, that's pointless to use. Shield Rush. There you go. Sit your ass back. And uh, whose turn? Okay, you... Miss. Of course she'd miss. Why not? Why does it pick a random target? I don't like that. Come on, Roland! No, 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 no. Where's my blessing? Heroic Aura, thank you. And now... No. Oh, it's not... Okay. Hey, of course, Rat would miss. Why not? Okay, no, I need you to target this one. Game. Hey, Pern! What? <laughs> Wilt. Excuse me, alert box. Why are you all the way to hell up there like this? I need to fix that alert. There's a ranger pathing bug? Okay. If you can't pass somewhere, you can't necessarily shoot. Yeah, I'm seeing that. So I can pass here, but not to here. Okay, Embla, where is my where is my fate? There is my favorite manu Thank you. Just 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 do that. Of course she'd freaking miss, why not? Rat? Come on, rat, come on, rat. <sighs> Just distort Matt, let's see, let's see. Edge missile. He's bloody, that's for sure. He's dead, that's for sure. You know, we're just gonna let you save your mat and your magic. Save your MP. We'll just beat this one to death. It's fine. Here, rat move. Historically accurate Viking erotica. What the fuck? That's a Morak. Howdy, Morak, coming in with the with the um the um. Oh, I forgot. I can just have him do this. And murder it with sublime pro uh, projection. How you doing, Morak? Dystopica. Hmm. Well, they're dead. We'll just take all dime all the books. Claim all the books. All the books. What did I say? All the books. Now let's look at all the books. Let's see, Drina. What can you use? You can use circle of healing. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna get Circle of Healing. And Greater Lay on Hands, yes. Okay, you can't equip Bubba. Summon. Sure, why not? Let's learn to summon ooze. Summon ooze. The rest of it is pointless. If she's already got it, or yeah. Hmm, okay. 
Oh, looks my like room room of scribes here. Oh, what's this? I can cast Ebony only three times a day. <laughs> Scribbled in a shaky hand on ancient parchment is the following verse. Walk the path in humbled fate. Contemplate the hidden gate. Let the watchers show the way like time flows round the wheel of day. To heed the silent sleeper's call and enter into the dreaming hall. Well, that definitely has to have something to do with that opening that door. Verse two is the is the key. Let me, let me look at verse two again. Let the watchers show the way. Yes. Like time flows around the wheel of day. So that has something to do with that. I okay. There's four statues. I'm pretty sure. That's not a statue. That's a wall. I'm pretty sure I've we done cleaned up this area. Yes. And we looked at that. That was a horrible picture. We did not ever want to look at Okay, we got this one. Oh, that's lovely. That's a broken way. We can't go that way. That's the door we got to open. Can't go that way. First, let's save. We shall s rename this as Session 7. Possibly the last one? I am not sure. Alright, let's finagle with it. Let's see here. Let's, let's look at this. You stand before a finely crafted statue of polished stone. As you examine it more closely, you realize the statue is mounted on a rotating base. With some effort, you could turn it to face in one of the cardinal directions. Northeast, northeast or west? Right now it's facing south. No. What was the, uh... Oh... There's factions? I keep forgetting there's factions. Let me read that again. Something about the day. Let the watchers show the way, like time flows round the wheel of day. No, oh, I didn't go up here. A book lies open on a librarian's desk. What's the wheel of day? A clock. Brother Oran is once again made off with the key to the forbidden section, claiming it is much more convenient for both me and him than he keeps it for the duration of his studies. He assured me it's well hidden in his study in the Eastern Tower whilst not in use. Bloody fool! I'll need to send Day bro Lay Brother Theo to recover the next time Oran is sleeping. Oh, I unlocked it very easily. There's nothing there. The okay. Ah, oh, three more books! Nothing for you. Nothing for you. Nothing for you. Well, I guess we didn't need he didn't need that because uh yes. <laughs> we opened it. Okay, there's that one. There's another one. What the hell is this? Time flows around the clock. Moose statue so point clockwise. Yeah, I'd have been sitting there for hours trying to figure that out because I am an imbecile. All right, let's see. You there. You there. Nope. I 
how much does that cost in points? 20. You know what? Let's summon an ooze! Oh, he's just a... Okay. He's just a... He's just a ooze. Like the kind of, he's like the plain version of the spicy one we, that she can also summon. 33 damage! Murdered that thing! Yeah, let's go down there. And why did I put myself between you? I'm an idiot. 37. Do it again. That, okay. I like how this this little staff and the, the this this torch in the floor precludes me from moving in that position. Howdy, DM. What victory do you have today? I love doing that spell. Uh, just... I love doing that spell. I really do. Who cares about victory? It's Tifa. We want Tifa. Of course you do. Oh, you get double shots. I'm not going to complain there. And the little slime come up. I'm a help! Slap! Alright, let's see if I can't hear. Uh, okay, magic missile. Little slime guy just can't get in, get get in to get a swing, but it's fine. Let me in! I want to kill it, please. Let me in, please. Let me have help. I will help. Nope, oh, sorry, we got this, man. Here, let me move out of the way. You don't need to do anything anymore. Yeah, it's all y'all want to see is either Lady No or, T or Tifa. Not that I'm going to complain. Okay, why is this one a... F why is this a... What is this? Gorgeous Relief. A grotesque Relief. That's a gorgeous. Okay, well, if it's going to be Clock, then he's already Fate Week. No. No, he's... He's, uh... North? East. You'll start the action rotate is somehow significant at the moment. No wire chain. Okay, we're gonna have to put them all on the clock. Okay, you're right. You're not right. You face west. No, leave that there. No! to leave and don't touch it again. Don't be touching it again. All right, where's the last one? There it is. Give me, sir. I need you to face north. What the hell is that on my screen? The ground trembles as the sound of shifting stone reverberates throughout the complex. Something large has moved, or perhaps opened. Well, I feel like I'm gonna need to save. Grip sounds like a good spot to save, yeah? Yeah, we'll do that. Sweet, headstrong, trout, John Carnage. That's the, uh, the link there. Who's wants to play? Yeah, <laughs> the who's wants to play. Let me play. I want the who's all over him. Oh, the door is open. I feel it'd be in the best interest of me if I took a rest. Why? You know, 
Because I freaking said so. Everybody get everybody rest. We're resting. Hurricane Fletch, Forge Fletch, Train Fletch, yes we go. Alright, here, here, use these, cause these are crap. There we go! We're having rations and grilled leeks! It should be fine. And Fletch four arrows. I feel like Embla is like the oh, like the the literal best character in the game. Like the literal best character. Like if you don't take Embla, you're a cinch, you are a, you are a willingly giving yourself hard mode by by not taking her. That's what I said about 40 feet away from big. What I didn't fart, that was me cracking my neck. Fire right, opens, you stand at the threshold of Black Priory. Um. Um. The octagonal room has four throne like machines arranged around a central aperture. Thick, squirming tentacles spew forth from the shaft, and you can't help but wonder where it terminates. Oh, leaks. Oh, I've never had leaks, so I wouldn't know. A strange humming can be felt, rather than heard, coming from the center of the room. Oh, examine the machine. Sure, why not? Intricately wrought in a complex design that appears more like machinery than decoration, each throne has an indentation that would, ac uh, that would accommodate a human figure. Uh, no, let's see. Well, Embla has... Yeah, what lore 15, good lord. It's like, see, he would do it. She can do it. Embla can do it. Leaning in, you examine the indentation further and notice inlays of pure silver. Not silver, S-I-L-V-E-R. Silver! S-Y-L-V-E-R. It had, had to be, had to be, had to be extra with that. Had to like, no, we're gonna call our silver silver. Inlays of pure silver. Radiating out from where the user's skull would be. You follow the inlays and find they seem to converge towards the room's central shaft. If you were to guess, you'd say the machinery somehow attunes and connects the user to reticular vibrations emanating from the shaft. As to what is generating those vibrations, Embla, could this be the holy corpse? Yes. I think the monks came down here to commune with him using those machines, dreaming his dreams. You walk over to the shaft and peer down it. There's no end to in sight. Whatever lies at the bottom lies far below this level of the catacombs. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna. That's that's lovely. Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, they kind of just laid in the middle there and dream with 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 the um the thing. I spotted something. What in the Sam Hill's that? A large pulsating sac grows from the side of the fungal infection. There's something inside it. I'm gonna cut it open. To your disgust and horror, a rotting corpse riddled with fungi spills forth. As it does, it drops a small journal. You pocket the book and move on. I'm just gonna step away from that. Just gonna step away. Alright, I have a journal. Let's read the journal. A journal appears to have been written by one of the members of the Cabal expedition that was dispatched to the Priory. This one was found on a cocooned corpse in the catacombs. Entry 1. We entered the Dreaming Hall today. I'm awestruck by the mystery of it all. What secrets did the sleeper whisper to the monks as they dreamed? We must push on, and soon enough, we shall, we too shall stand before his timeless glory. Maiden 2. By the maidens, we found it. The tomb in all its glory. We lost two members to traps trying to enter the room, but it's only a matter of time now. Entry 3. This is a disaster. How can this be? I know there is something here calling for us. There must be some other way. Several pages are ruined from the fungal infection. Well, from entry 3 to 9. To move in and out of the caves and continue excavating the Eternity Gate. My greatest concern at this point is the rate at which we are losing crew to suicides and infection. Several pages are ruined from the fungal infections. Entry 14. Well, we're 
I saw them change before my very eyes. Oh, blessed maidens, I may have escaped for now, but I cannot escape the images that now haunt me. What's worse, the entire complex is somehow resealing itself, and I'm trapped between the false tomb and the surface level. I can only pray someone is left alive topside to open the gate. Uh, no, 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 no. Someone ain't alive. I feel like I want to go this way. And let's check down real quick. A joy of the hall, a mass of misshapen flesh and slavering jaws spill from the shadows and darken side passages. You cannot help but think that the glistening and slimy horrors before you look as if they were birthed into existence recently. No doubt they are now ravenously hungry. You know... What bothers me about this particular set of enemies is the fact that this guy has tendrils on his ass. Flesh Strider! Lovely. Flying Pull-Up! Okay, we have Flesh Striders and Flying Pull-Ups. But I'm more upset that this guy has, has tentacles on his ass. And he's just dancing there and just flailing. It's kind of nasty when you think about it. Anyway, let's see here. Uh, we're going to have to... All right, I'm going to come over here and I can tank these guys. Roland and Rat. Drina will be there. And uh, you two actually will stay right where you are. Hmm. Okay, I need I need the little guys. They need to die. They need to die first. Only five piercing, of course. Magic missile on that son of a son of a mum 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 no. Yeah, I'm going right for that thing. Lovely. Wait, if I move down just one. Okay, I gotta have him block for that. Thank you! Thank you! I'm enjoying that. I love that very much. You're an asshole and your mother is a freaking hamster. Okay, this is three units. Where is my, um... Yeah, I need them dead. Those need to die. They're magic users, and they suck, and they need to die. No, no, here. Just do it again. I want kinetic damage, yes. Ow! 45 blood sweet mother of God, that stung! Why you do this? No. Kill that! Thank you. Do it again. Lovely. See, I don't like them doing that. See, 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 sa. Your mother. Thank you. Wait, I fucking hell. I buggered all that up to hell, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, that's lovely. I, I love you. No, I don't. I freaking hate your guts. You can go to mother and hell. Okay, who's turn?
Why only five? Here's the thing. Where's my flaming fist? Burn, you little bastard! Burn! Thank you, Roland! Okay, first of all, where is Greater Lay on Hands? Thank you! Now bonk that! What is it with you lowering, low, doing the low damage, by the way, hmm? Okay, what arrows are you using? You're using the hunting arrows. Set that little bastard on fire! Okay, could you quit spitting that, that spittle that you're doing? It's very annoying and I don't much appreciate it. That hurts, and I don't much care for your existence. Wait, I don't care for your existence so much, I did that to you. Okay, do I have any extra... There you go! Thank you very much! There we go, now let's just beat the hell out of you. It's fine, we can do this. Border damage from rat, thank you. Okay, I need to switch your arrows back. Nope, 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 nope. Switch your arrows to... Bodkins. That'll work. Oh, that'll work. Well, I might as well just end your turn there. You're not going to do anything else. Could you stop spitting? Oh, damn. That thing just up and died. And we'll get two arrows back. What's this? Picked up a... A mallet. mallet. A rounded mallet that seems to have some kind of ceremonial purpose. Okay, I have a hammer. Why couldn't it be an actual hammer? Hammer. Like a weapon. Zutalo, what is this now? Ink and paper. Ink and paper that appears to have been abandoned mid-use. Seems someone was copying the mosaic on the floor. Hey, Mr. Use Power, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? That's not a mosaic, that's a map. That's a motherfucking map. That's a motherfucking map. That's a map. You can't freaking tell me otherwise. Okay, it means where the hell, okay, so let's see. Where would this be? You there? No, it can't be there. Oh, good lord. We make our mosaics in the famous map art. art uh, we make our mosaics in the famous map artistic style. <laughs> Ended up Dane talking down like G. Oh, God. GTA Online. That's that's definitely a game I couldn't get into because it's just that's just too much shit. <laughs> I got one full size M. I, well, technically. I have four full size MMOs I'm playing right now. I don't need another one. I have. 
Star Trek Online, Final Fantasy XIV, No Man's Sky, and um, it was a fourth one. Fourteen STO, No Man's Sky. It was the fourth one I played too. I forgot. But yeah, I play. Oh, and Warframe, Warframe. I don't need. <laughs> Oh my god, that was just like, I see the fun in it, but oh my god, I don't have the time for that. <laughs> oh, I thought, but I thought about it, but you know, maybe a Final Fantasy up went, you know, then maybe. Forces pull at you, driving you inex inexorably forward. You are, you are, you are no doubt, you are, you are no doubt nearing something. You are, you are no doubt. Typo! What's wrong? Why do we stop? And Black's impatiently. I have a strange feeling. Ah, oh, fuck. A feeling... A feeling of being watched! Snarls Roland as he turns to face the amorphous eye things that glide silently down from the ceiling to prey upon you. Attack. Oh, polyps. Four polyps. Grand. Alright, well, let's see. I need to charge... F oh, wait. No, I'm... Well, let's see. I guess stay there. Rat, we'll head down here. Well, we're just gonna see how this goes. Okay, we'll start with the closest one right here. Might have up. Oh, yeah, there's three shots right there. And I didn't not. Oh, I moved that just in time, didn't I? Where is it? All right, time to murder the polyps. I wanted to shoot. Why did you? Lovely. I need to murder these things forthwith, post haste, and all that business. Why did I? Damn it. Okay, well, uh, Roland's in trouble. I need to heal. Never mind. Well, this is going well. Now, this is just uh, this is just going um lovely, isn't it? I hate range bastards. Just perfect. Just, just freaking lovely. There we go. Do you have a spell for... Nope. Where is, where is that circle of healing? Where is this? I saw it. Where the hell did it go? Roland dying. Yeah, he's kind of stunned. He's like, what the hell just happened? 
You're dead! That's what happened, bitch! Whoop! Hey, I'll come up. I'll handle business. Come here. Let me come up. I might have to go back and rest again. Lovely. Uh, okay, you have... You're just gonna... Yeah. Why am I not having him strike down? Never mind. That worked. Nope, you stay there. One every two, yeah, one every two, yeah, I, I see that mess. Okay, you're gonna switch to... Hot and arrows. Shoot that sucker in the... Whatever. No, you're not using any arrows. You, you miss too often. I'm not wasting arrows with you. Would you like to be bonked? Battle, battle, mm hmm. There we go. Now it's just one, one, one polyp left. Yep. Someone's mowing. I'm like, okay, it just rained. Probably not the best time to mow, but whatever. I see a, I see what the hell is this? A large gilded gong that no purpose must have served. A, a large gilded gong that no doubt must have served some kind of ceremonial purpose. Etched in the fine lettering is the following text. He who wishes to pass so bold, speak the names of masters old, and before the sleeper he beseech, shall offer up a strike for each. No, they're just gonna, just gonna, just gonna not. Look, Embla points to the passage north. A golden tomb, we must be close now. Finally, we shall know. W what do we do if you're right? I, I do not know, but the answers will reveal themselves to us when we stand before the glorious corpse. I just play, we're not too late. Brina shakes her head. The corpse of an emperor? In a place like this? I refuse to believe it. We'll see. Yeah, how about now? Let's go find... Let me save. Yeah, we'll save on F house for fucked house, because we're all fucked at the moment. I need to find a spot to, to rest. Y'all happen to have a spot to rest? Yes, I looked at the gong, but I did not. I did not ring it yet. I, I I feel like if I ring that gong, I'm gonna ring my own bell, my own funeral bell, by the way. Okay, let's just. Uh, can I leave without putting myself in a in a bit of trouble? Yes, back to the sleeping room. Did someone move that body that's laying there? It's kind of, kind of a bit too close. That's a good meal. We have baked onions, cheese plate, cheese sandwich, Fried steak and ration. That's a, that's a meal. Well, we'll see. We're gonna get nothing from you. Whoever rolling ain't fortune for shit. Plus zero XP. Why? Just why? Why zero? Pardon? 
We'll see. I don't want to touch the, the icky ickies. All right, we're going to... What's in here? Keep forgetting how to, to know how many arrows I have before I can rest so I can see what arrows you're getting from a success. Ah. Crude long sword, silver ring, and gold. A crude long sword. Something if I had a shop nearby I could sell. You know, let's go up. Oh boy. War axe! Oh, what's this? The sarcophagus has the following inscription. Calamar the Wise, third Grand Master of the Order of the Crystal Eye. <laughs> well, we found him. Note the name. I can't use that one. That one's got no empty paper on it. Okay. Wait, did I just toss up boy the hand port shit out? Shit! Let me see. No. No. Okay, that wasn't important. Okay, new paper. I think the ones you fletch are hunting arrows. Yeah, probably. All right. Alamar the Wise. Third. But fletching, the fletching sucks. I mean, Embla's getting me arrows, so hey. Third Grandmaster. I'm not writing all the, the shit, order crystal eye, all that shit. I keep wanting to call him Olives. More loot, I'm taking your money. Kafkas has the following inscription. Caroleth the Many-Faced. First Grandmaster. Caroleth the Many-Faced. Caroleth. The Many-Faced. So either they were uh, a conniving little bastard that just was always a two-faced uh, person towards other people, or they knew how to do a good disguise. First... Just need Kalmar in three and Carolith in one, huh? Well, we're gonna check them all anyway. More crap. More crap. Pretty sure I should have fought that, that spooky despiggle all the way back in that freaking thing for, uh, Was there more? I feel like there could be more. Yeah, that leads there. Oh. The coffee is following inscription. Rothrax the Grey. Second Grandmaster. I'm just gonna write it down anyway, I don't care. Just in case. Rothrax the Grey. Rothrax. The Grey. Sound like he was trying to pull a Gandalf the, the Grey, but uh didn't work. I'm a horrible person, I don't care. Okay, so we got those. What's over here? Another path. Another path that leads to another path. More crap. More crap.
Wait, was that it? Hey, Gonzo, welcome in. How you doing? Oh, we're doing, we're doing this Florida. We're, we have no way but to do because it's Florida. <laughs> How you doing, Gonzo? Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. We're exploring this crypt and it's uh, a bit of a mess. In fact, I should probably save. Because, uh, yes. Save over F house because this is a fucked house. Okay, well, I, I might as well just go up here. Oh, okay. Why does this remind me of Warhammer now with, with, a, with a corpse sitting up on that throne there? <sighs> I swear if we run into the God Emperor, I might be screwed. <laughs> The golden tomb stands before you in all its glory. Have you arrived at last at the object of your quest? I'm, I'm asking Embla first. It still beckons me, though. It still beckons me. Though standing here now, something feels off. Nonetheless, as I see it, there is only one way forward. We must open the tomb. Where do you think they got that inspiration? Yeah, probably. Drina, how about you? My faith in the golden dead is unfailing, and it screams at me that something here is not as it seems. But we've come this far, and now that we stand before the tomb, I say we get to the bottom of this charade. Yeah, sure. Well, they both say, open the tomb, so we're both gonna open the tomb. You brace yourself and push with all your strength, but find that the lid slides back easily, and locks in position with a slight click, as if the lid has been designed to open and close. Nonetheless, sarcophagus, con sarcophagus contents content now lies before you. Look inside. Look inside that skeleton goes, Boogie Boogie, how you doing? Like, what the hell? <laughs> it's really just a skeleton, just wants a friend. You draw a collective gas as the content is revealed. Nothing. The sarcophagus is utterly empty. Roland's laughter booms through the tomb and you can hear Drina offer a whispered prayer of relief. Emma somehow looks less than surprised. <laughs> Roland's like, ha ha ha, there's nothing there. And me, I'm just like, it's some bullish shit right here. What is this? A false tomb. A decoy, perhaps? Like the chest with a false bottom? I suspect the true meaning of this tomb lies deeper th than we first suspected. Than suspected blah. There's something we've missed, some hidden secret. Hmm. That's our responses. Hmm. Suddenly, a massive portcullis slams down behind you, and to your horror, the thick greenish smoke billows into the chamber through unseen apertures. Oh, that's not good. No, it's not. Cat says as her eyes widen in terror. If you do not find a way out of here, this will be very quickly end up as your tomb as well. Oh. Oh, this, this is how we're going to do this, huh? Okay. This is this this is how we're going to... This how... Okay, okay. Who's got the... Hmm... Uh, Well, Emble is already in trouble. Great. Pick. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. It's athletics. Who's got better athletics? Five. Eight. Okay. Force it. Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die. <laughs> well, we're dying. <laughs> we're dying. Uh, well, I might as well just here. Just, uh. Uh, well, um... They always fell for the inescapable room. Even when you give them a hint, the poison gas still gets them. Oh my god. 
Don't last save, please. Let's do that again, minus the opening of the tomb. Timber, what are you thinking? Vinny, what are you thinking? No, let's not open the- we- I can't- okay. Oh, you want you- oh, good lord, why don't you uh, inspect it? That's it, you're- you're boned, you can't- Well, that sucks. Alright, well, we'll have to figure this out in a minute. We gotta have ads, so be right back. Because they made a PC version, it felt and played completely different. Yeah, that... Well, I made it across. I wasn't even trying for that ledge, but I, may... I, I hit it anyway. Victor. Victor. Is this another centipede? I think it might be. I think it might be. I think it might be. There we go. <laughs> Just the silliest faces. Oh. <laughs> the centipede, the male centipede faces in this would make a good pog face. <laughs> <laughs> Cinepog. <laughs> some, some, somebody, somebody, somebody get that. At least one more tank. Maybe, maybe four more tanks to find. I don't know. I don't know. I can't receive signals here. But yeah, we're uh That's it, we're sewer locks with the game. Okay. Loading. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> that was messed up. What? What happened? Did I just... Did I just die from reading? Never read, it will kill you. Lesson of the day. Amazing. All right, and we're back. Oh, no, oh, go away, stupid thing. Anyway, open the tomb, look inside. Yep, what is this? Yeah, we're gonna. Think of the star of the old rank movies. You do know I've never seen, never, I don't even know what you're talking about, right? I got commercial over print. No, good lord. You know, we're just going to take the L and reload. Because we're going to die anyway. I don't know what to do then, because when you when you examine the thing, it automatically pulls you into uh, the whole thing. So I'm not sure what the hell I'm supposed to do here. Wait, I mean, re examine.
You know, we never messed with this. Let's mess with it. You strike the gong with the mallet, and a pure deep note reverberates through the complex. Well, Rothrax, let's see, well, no, Karaleth was the first one. So save the name Karaleth. That was for my glorious way. Oh, hold on, let's look at this. What is, what, what is this? What is, what is this? J. Arthur Rank. Oh! <laughs> I'm dumb. I swear to God. J. Arthur Rank. Yep, the bong! Alright, well, the first one is obviously Carolus. Say the name Carolus. Speak the name what now? And the, fir the fir second one was Calamar. You strike against your kid, speak the second name. What now? And the third name was Rothrix. Strike the gun a third time, but if you added the last name, a note that sounds foul and discordant. Whatever you did, you expect it was somehow wrong. Perhaps you should start over. Did I miss a hit, Mr. Miss? Did I miss a skull? Did I miss one? Or not skull A. Did I miss one? No, he had three. Okay, so it's. Do you wish the okay? So it's like Carol. What's a? Oh no, I'm freaking dumb. I'm freaking dumb. I'm freaking dumb. I did it wrong. Okay, first one is Caroleth. Second one is Rothrix. Third one's Calamar. There it goes. Jesus, what the? You ring the gong a third time and speak the last thing. The sound echoes more strongly than before through the catacombs, and the grinding of stones can be heard in the room ahead. Whatever you did, you suspect it was the right thing. Golden Tomb Center, Embla. Rina, open the tomb. Nothing. What is this? A mess of hidden, hidden secret. Hmm. Eating leeks isn't good for you. It, it's a vegetable! You eat it a vegetable! What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Glow staff. Oh, why can't I? I guess I can't. Okay, so uh, I did that and it did uh, nothing. Nothing over here. What the hell? It's a corpse. I found a corpse. I didn't even see this guy. And he had a book. A journal that appears to have been written by one of the members of the Cabal Expedition. It was dispatched to the Priory. This one was found on a corpse in the catacombs. Answer one. They found the secret passage to some kind of cave below the false tomb. Something far older than the Priory itself. Older than the Empire even, even, older than the Empire even, is the talk around camp. I just wish my insights didn't hurt as much. Entry two. They're sending me down with the next shipment of tools. That means passing the, might, the night maze. They say it can't be lit even by magical lighting. I hate the dark. Apparently it's easy enough to navigate if you know how. South until you, okay, wait, 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 wait. You know how. South until you hit the first wall. And then west until west until wall. North until wall. West until wall. North until wall. West until wall. The north oh my god. Leaks is known to cause the deployment of flatus. The deployment of flatus. I love you just pull up Rig's face right there with the oh. face. South? Until you hit the first wall. 
west until wall, north until wall, west until wall, north until wall, west until wall, then north. So just kind of walk until you slam into a wall and then turn. I'm a little thirsty, I swear. Must have been dinner. No lunch. Entry three. I went all the way to the sanctum this time. By the golden, how I wish I had not. How how, how can such a thing be? The writing becomes rushed. Hear screams below. Something is wrong. Save us! I don't think there was any saving you happening anytime soon there, buddy. Oh, missed that one. For gold! 2200 gold. Am I going to be able to spend a single bit of it? No. Fruit grape, your breastplate. Yeah, I, I'm just taking everything. I don't care. I am robbing the place blind. I guess I have to go back and check that freaking thing again. No, I've explored this whole area. No, nothing here. Yeah, neighbors mowing again. And I'm like, what the hell is that noise? It's either it's either a mower or a, or a plane flying really low. I really hope it's not a plane flying really low. The chances are some shenanigans is afoot, and I'd rather not be a part of it. Thank you. Okay. Now what? I've, 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 uh... Found nothing. That thing told me, hey, there's something under there! And I'm like, now what the frack do I do unless I go back to the main hole? Check that whole area. Let's see here. I am confused slightly. You can still go back to Ash Tower Merch who sells the best stuff in the game? Yeah, I could. I think the tomb puzzle is a soft lock if you open the tomb before doing the gong sequence. Well, it shouldn't be because I I've uh Live loaded the game. I mean, I loaded the game. That shouldn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it, it's a walk. Yeah, it's a walk. I don't think I need anything because I think I've gotten pretty much everything I needed off of the guy. Well, the thing is, if you... I can't... It's like, I did it so this didn't come up, but now it's like... If you don't do the gong, and you open this... You open the tomb before doing the gong sequence. Yeah, it's like if you... If you, you have to do the gong before you open the tomb. Otherwise, if you open the tomb, the door locks, you can't get out, and you basically die. But so I, I, I'm kind of confused of where you need to go here. This is a door I've walked by several times and haven't seen. Which is entirely possible. 
I went in here. There's nothing in here. Found this dead guy. I've searched up those areas. And this area lit which led to that area. You got this area which Nope, that doesn't go anywhere. That doesn't go anywhere. If that's the way I got to go, then where the hell do I that, that how do I do it? Do I go back outside? I mean, it's possible. Is something outside here open? No, I've been that way. Decoy perhaps. I'm not. Wait, 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 wait. Do I have to go back and check those other doors? Those other cool, the other, other things. Do I have to go back and check them? We took a we took a beat decoy priory to distract from the real one. Okay, then okay, then there's a hidden one around here. No, nope, that's not it. Okay, so that's a decoy. Then where the hell is the real one? Care left the mini face. It worked in Blazing Saddles. Yeah, I have imagined it. Imagined it did. But remember, I'm an imbecile. My brain tends to gloss over several things. Okay, so this, if that's a fake one, then where in the Sam Hill's a real one? The chat is literally laughing at me right now. Literally, it's like, this guy is a moron! He felt for... Oh my god, I am an imbecile. I am, I'm, I, I'm missing something incredibly obvious. Oh my god, why am I dumb? It's probably staring me dead in the face. It's like right here in the face, and it's like, it's like, I, I can't see it. I'm just, oh my god, why am I dumb? It, say, it says, well, it's not obvious at all. No, duh, obviously not for me. It ain't this. There's a secret door. How can there be a secret door? How is there a motherfucking secret door? When I was looking in the whole goddamn freaking room and there was no secret door in the goddamn freaking room! This is a secret door. There's a secret door. Where is the secret? Where is the motherfucking secret door? Where is it? Where is it? You, well, you take a regular door and then you put a bunch of bricks, put a bu bunch of bricks on it. I just saw. What do you mean? I just saw. I just.
You are made of stupid. That's why that's there. That that's that's why that's there. That's exactly why that's there. That's why this is why you as a professor of Mer Mer uh, professor of dumbassery. <sighs> Just right there. Oh my god. The tile ahead is ancient, narrow, and dark. Walking down it, you cannot help but feel as if you are descending into some deeper abyss, far more ancient than the priory and uh, reluctant to give up its mysteries. The hell is that? Yeah, error. Nonetheless, you also cannot help but feel as if you are once more being pulled forwards. Something awaits you at the other end of these tunnels, and it's beckoning for you to proceed. Oh, good day. Thank you. You feel it now, don't you? Embla attempts to peer into the darkness ahead. This is the way. The tomb chamber was never what the Priory was built to protect. There must be even older mysteries below. I suspect many of the monks themselves didn't know of this. Perhaps initiates offered praise to a false tomb for centuries, while the Grandmasters kept the lie? Let's move onwards, then. Not to interrupt, but... Yeah, not to interrupt your uh, theosophic ramblings, but there's something you might want to see, Big. Ted has walked up to the edge of the light and is carefully extending your arm into the darkness. Look at this! Darkness will not yield to the light! It's, it's as thick as tar! Some kind of what, perhaps? I suspect we'll need to navigate these tunnels blindly. Like, we just broke that down there. Continue. You must keep your wits about you if you are to proceed. Take all precautions not to lose your way and ensure all possible preparations are made before you set forth. Venture forth. South. Until you hit the wall. West. Then north. West. North. West, north. Well, that was rather easy. And this, and where did you get your degree at? DM, DM Co University. Yeah, unfortunately, that's where I got that degree because uh, that's the only thing I could afford. The air down here is thick with, me with the metallic smell of ozone, and a throbbing ache grows in your teeth. Mm. Oh, leave immediately. Uh -uh. Nope, sorry. Nope, sorry. Uh -uh. Throbbing ache in teeth. Uh -uh. No. No, you start messing my teeth, I leave. Sorry, nope, screw the world. Nope, nope, you're freaking my teeth. I don't care about anything else. You're freaking the teeth, I'm out. Mm -mm. Each step down the narrow winding tunnel takes you deeper and closer to what? Bullshit. But you have come this far, you can't help but feel a surge of determination at being so close to the end of your search. It's so close now. The call is almost too much to bear. Emma touches her forehead and for a moment seems to sway. Are you unwell? Black Prior reveals the secrets to you, the Eternity Gate. Oh, lovely. Yes, but there is one way to cure it now. We must proceed. Emba straightens. Smell of toothaches. Spell what the hell is that? Spell of firestorm. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I just said just crumple a whole bunch of my teeth. Oh, oh, don't want to deal with that. Mm. Drina's eyes grow narrow. This place is not for us. The deeper we go, the further I feel we are away are from the golden light. We press on. I'm saving. That effing door. Thing door. Oh. Well, that's lovely. That's that's all lovely. What is this now? Like tons of stone that presses down from above, so does this cha chamber convey the weight of untold eons. Rows of embalmed corpses line the wall, sitting in perfect stillness with empty eye sockets to stare into eternity. How long have they been here? Uh, don't want to know. These men and women came here to worship long before the first stone of the Empire was laid. Their corpses were already ancient when Galleon landed on Edon's shores. They are dreaming. You turn and realize it was Kat who spoke. She looks surprised. I don't know why I said that. The thought just came to me. But they are dreaming. 
staring the sleep is sharing the sleep a stream, waiting for him to return to them. I where are these thoughts coming from? Can we leave please? Yes, let's move. Well things are getting rather concerning. Well, this is lovely. Oh, this is a big ol' uh Oh. That's lovely. That's 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 lovely. The cave expands to a vast chamber littered by the remains of what you deem to be the final resting place of the Cabal expedition to the Black Priory. Large quantities of stone and dirt have shift been shifted in what appears to be an attempt to excavate what? Your eyes train in an attempt to make sense of the structure partially protruding from the rock. Your mind reels at the thought that, that whatever this is, it must have been placed here thousands, nay hundreds of thousands of years ago. What's more, despite seeing just a small segment of the structure, you feel certain that whatever is buried here is vast. We're here. We've made it. All these years, this is what was buried under the Priory. This is where the sleeper awaits. Emma's voice trembles like a prisoner who senses their freedom is finally within reach. This thing, it cannot exist. It should not. Who who can build something like this? Trina's voice is the closest to panic you've ever heard her. This is the very heart of madness itself, Roland whispers to himself, and yet Rat never gets to speak. Me and Rat never get to speak, which is kind of messed up. I guess if I had uh, the other guy in the party, he would be speaking. The sleeper awaits. What do you mean the sleep or sleeper awaits? I thought this was uh, Cthulhu missiles, not Dune. <laughs> I need to play a Dune game. Not Doom, Dune. Okay, whoever, sh whoever shaking the place cease, and immediately. Stop the shakery. I deem it, I, I, de I demand it. Oh my. Hey, Hesh! Welcome in, Hesh, how you doing, buddy? I haven't been able to catch your streams. Cause you always been streaming when I'm at work. <laughs> Did you play Doom 1? No. I, that's why I said I need to play a Doom game. But welcome in, Hash. I hope you're doing well. Let's get a shout for Hash. She's a good streamer. Happy to, like I guess I haven't been able to catch his streams lately because... Timing. But yeah, we're, we're, we're going to finish this, hopefully. Doom 1 is very good. And uh, that's what I hear. Oh, to have something to look, great look forward to. I saw I said nude game. Yeah, beyond there, mid lane. Yeah. Life, I know. What the hell is move that mouse? The strange construct rises menacingly above you. As you approach, the fungal growths that cling to arrive in greedy anticipation. Even as a CD version with amazing speech. I guess I'll have to look it up. Falling impotently at the portal set to the structure's side. You cannot easily discern the material used in its construction, nor the hands that made it, beyond the fact that there is an aspect about it that makes you think of the artifacts that the Magi sometimes employ. Now its outer skin is pockmarked and weathered by the shifting of stone over endless millennia. For the briefest moment you, set it, you see it in your mind's eye, free of stone, moving over a landscape of jagged mountains and jungle-clad hills. Great ferns sway in the humid breeze, and in the distance you see great singing towers. A sudden tremor shakes you out of it. It's a little more violent than the previous ones. Okay, someone! As we love game is playing. I'm saying, hey, yep. Yeah, I, 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 I probably will be playing it again after I beat it. Just that with another character to see. Alright. Who's shaking the place? As you reel from the quake, Embla walks past you, moving towards the portal with her hand outstretched like a sleepwalker. The air hums with energy that appears to be emanating from the portal itself. The fungal tentacles begin to thrash wildly in anticipation. The tremors return, more powerful now, and around you stones fall from the cave's roof. Embla, wait! She is not hearing, and before you can grab her, she has touched the door. The effect is instant. Strangely shaped glyphs set into the portal begin to glow with a light so bright it's nearly blinding. An undulating vibration that you feel in your bones rises and echoes through the cave, and for a moment it sounds as if someone or something is howling madly. Then sudden silence. It was space aliens all along? Lovely. What was... 
Oh, that's lovely. Before you can finish your sentence, the ground again shakes violently, knocking you to the ground. Rocks and debris explode outwards from the center of the cave, and an inhuman roar so loud it causes your ears to bleed emits from the horror that emerged into the cave. Bursting forth from the depths below, it towers above you, a squirming mass of untold millions of strands of fungal growth animating to a gigantic mauled worm horror. Hello, Mama! Nah, Mama's dead. Mama's a buried under the cave some other place. The tentacle thrashes wildly with enough force to break rock as the abomination claws its way out of the emergence hole and towards you. Then you see it. Embedded into the roiling it's into its roiling half flesh half flesh are the forms and faces of men. You know what certainly that these are the indeed the final members of the Cabal expedition. Dagger to your feet. Oh, that's lovely. The creature lumbers towards you, emitting yet another terrible scream. Your heart sinks as you set to receive the charge. From around you, echoes of dozens of replies as the smaller siblings are called forth to the feast. Boss fight? Boss fight? Are we already at the boss? Oh, well, um... Let's see, let's surround it. Hey, Babylon, welcome in! Where I think I don't know if we're at the final battle or not. I have no idea. Okay, you're gonna stay right there. Uh, is this act four or five? I don't know. This thing is a big evil leak. Well, let's see here. Uh, where is my? Where's my arrows? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, do the, do the, yeah, do those. And vein strike. Res that was a bunch of resistances. Let me see this mother. Dragon's Herald. Resolute Beast Abomination. Had to finish Fallout 2. Oh, there's five acts. Oh. I need to play Fallout 2. Let's see, 191 vitality, 37 wounds. Resistance is fire and physical. Well, Roland, you're useless. Conditions fell light. What's fell light? Let's see. Fell light. Uh, vulnerability, sublime damage. Rat! The most heinous, the most vile, heinous, hideous, and monstrous leak known to him. I swear to God with the leaks. I swear to God. <laughs> Note that absolutely nothing in the game resists stun. Well, there we go with that. Let's see here. I might as well move in. Where's diamond skin? Diamond form. Put this on, on me. Put on rack because I can't see me. And damn, magic missile did shit. Let's see. I didn't want to shift. Okay, so it's like this. Okay, well, I now know what, uh... Now I now know what, the uh, uh... Let's see, are you immune to physical? No, good. Roland has a... Roland has work to do in this fight. Switch. And start... Okay, Roland, you're gonna have to disengage. Okay, uh... Let's see... Flaming fist! Yep, that'll work. Yeah, Roland can do something! Oh, really? 
Oh, really? You're gonna do this shenanigans? Okay. Okay. Okay, well, that's... That's fun. That's fun. Who, who am I playing? Okay, rat. The blind projection. For nine points of... Okay, as long as I do do that every turn. Kill mama, murder mama. Meanwhile, let's get the flaming fists in here. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but that works. Bonk! Okay, could you cease? Okay, no, you're going to die. You are going to die. I'm tired of your shit. Oh, I can't cast away. Uh, okay, I guess magic missile. Yeah, Embla, you're gonna be doing some work here. Uh, la 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 Okay, Roland, I need you to start handling business here. Okay, I don't like you doing that. You need to cease that immediately. Thank you, Roland! Yeah, Roland can't do anything else, so... Yeah, burn, you little bastard. Yeah, come here. There you go, Roland. Thank you. Come over there. Get that one. Where is my stunning blow? Yeah, stun that sucker! I have to drink a potion here. Good lord. No, no, no. You're getting you're getting the flaming fist. You're getting touched. You're getting touched by the by the by the hurt pans. Summoning your friends! You can cease! You can cease with the summoning of your friends, please! Uh, you still have one more magic missile. Well, at least Roland has a purpose now. Nah, where's my where's my stunning blow? Keep... Okay, my turn. I definitely need to. Wait, where's my? Yeah, I keep need, need to do that. Twelve damage. It's probably easier. Damn! I swear to God. I need to drink a potion. That's not moderate. Yeah, magic missile, you. One more. There you go. Let's see here. That's not who I wanted you to do that. Never mind. 
We've been thinking of what the f DM. What? And I can't stress this enough. The hell. Okay, I can only do physicals here. Come on! No, how much? Okay, do I have? No, let me see. Where's my, uh... Yeah, drink that. I need you to keep laying fire on these people here. And magic missile, this schmuck. Can you still do stunning blow? Yes, you keep stunning. Keep beating the crap out of the... Oh, goody, I've been knocked down instantly. Great, that's lovely. That's, that's lovely. This is just lovely. Come, I, oh, I forgot to do the bludgeoning. There, mama's down. Well, let's revert. Damn, what the hell are you on? Seriously, dude. my other arrows no and I don't care to thank you experience 2800 and i probably don't get a single bit of it because i'm currently unconscious ow um trina i i could use some healing i i could use some healing Might as well save it Black Priory. Okay, well, now we have options here. Hole or floor? Let's check the door. The portal. As you approach the portal, a humming once more fills the air and strange arcane sigils lay up across its metallic skin. As if reinvigorated by the resurgent energies filling the cave, the mangled piles of the fungi worm things littered around you begin to knit together and reassemble. Roland sits slumped against the wall next to you, breathing heavily. You best get that door open before those things come back again. I don't think I can hold them for long. Clasping hands, you pull the massive brute to his feet. He winces in pain and a cough, uh, and a cough sprays blood down his chest. Don't worry about me. Roland offers a sad smile. For the first time, you notice the stain bleeding through his tunic and armor. Surely, there's no issue given. Surely, this is no issue given the ma right magics. Bam of the wound. Oh. He apprehensively lifts his tunic and reveals his abdomen. A large gas rimmed by necrotic skin, and worse yet, pushing out of the wound from within are thick, squirming tentacles. I think this is as far as I go. Besides, where you're heading, I expect you won't need me. What are you saying? Terminus once more shake the cave, and before your eyes, the gigantic herald thing re knits itself together before rising up to even greater heights than before. It sways momentarily and then lets out an ear piercing scream. Around it, untold multitudes of fresh miter horrors rise forth. Roland painfully gets to his feet. No, I'm not leaving you! 
Young fool, go now, I can buy you seconds. Roland clasps the back of your neck and pulls you pulls you until your forehead forehead's touch. No more words are necessary. He lifts his weapon and turns, broad-legged and defiant, to face the onslaught's slavering jaws. Roland! The soft touch of Embla's hand on your elbow snaps you out of it. Big, we have to go. Don't let a sacrifice be for not. Go. The portal shifts, disassembling itself into its component panels like some strange flower opening its petals to welcome the sun. Continue. Oh, I'm alone now. Lovely. You dream of floating stars, a blue orb wreathed in a shimmering veil. But there is more, a rift. Something seeps through, like venom entering a wound, coiling, roiling, primordial. Suddenly, a scream of pain and terror cuts into your mind like an acid knife. Oh, goody, I'm naked. Shocked awake, the screams echo in your mind. Was it real or part of a dream? Stirring slowly, you find yourself lying on some kind of table. You're naked and cold, and as far as you can tell, all alone. You stand up and find your head spinning. Even in the faint light, the vague outlines of a hint of proportions and dimensions not meant for men. What mortal hand could have framed such things? Perhaps the concealing darkness is a blessing to your racked senses. So I have nothing except my skivvies. Let me save. I just want to see something really quick. Well, here, we'll rename this one as... But we rename it, or we'll save over it and we rename pirates to, uh... Aliens. I just want to see something. Where is... Oh, okay. Let me see this. What, what what was this? Okay, I can't... You see hole. Really? I can't do anything with the hole. You see hole. SPICE! So I can't do anything with the hole. Okay, so I loaded for nothing. Alright, where's aliens? Yes, we have space. Where is it? I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! Freaking love that guy. Anyway, let's uh, walk down here in our skivvies. With nothing. We have a door that way. Yeah, yeah, I know. You saving points waiting for that special one. Locked. A strange membrane... Membranous? That's a new word. Membranous substance blocks the road ahead. You suspect this may be some kind of door through there is no opening opening mechanism nearby. Oh, lovely. Oh! What the... Oh, hey, how you doing? A strange statue. A, the simulacra of a humanoid form stands before you. Is this a machine imitating life or something imitating a machine? Some living thing imitating a machine. Has Tim Curry ever played the good guy? I don't know. Kind of wish he had, because it would have made for an interesting movie. A strange, vicious liquid fills its cupped hands as if offering it to you. N nah, I'm, I'm good. You know what? We can check that real quick, because I feel like we, can we could. Well, when you think about it, he was kind of the good guy in, like, two of the three endings in the Clue movie. I'm not going to go in that room just yet. Oh, oh! what the hell? Movement catches your eye ahead. Something small and pale, crouching like a flightened animal. Your heart sinks as you see who it is. Cat. She throws herself at you and clings to you like a shivering child. That they took us. We're powerless. Who are they? What's happening here? He was a villain in Dragon Age. The little man. I swear to Jesus. I swear if it's little green men, I'm going to be upset. The little men, they live in the walls. I saw them take us, stripped us down like beasts, going to, going to the butcher's cleaver. 
They don't sleep like he does. They stay awake so he can sleep. Who do you mean? The king, the navigator. He slept for so long, but they say it's time for him to wake up now. They say we're they're glad we came here. We did good, but I don't believe them. We should never have come. God walks these holes. We need to get out of here. Gat's expression vacillates between a smile and sheer terror. The little men say we can't leave. The king must awaken before the crawling doom finds its way inside. She tilts her head slightly to one side as if hearing something. And they say it's time for me to go now. I'm next. She takes a step backwards. Cat. She holds your gaze, her smile almost apologetic, as if as she backs up against the wall. The strange biomechanical material convulses and a fissure opens. Half a dozen grotesque small hands reach out and wrap around Cat. Before you have time to react, she is pulled into the fissure, sealed shut with a disgusting smack. You are left dumbfounded and alone. That's some really impressive wallpaper. Yeah! Well, that's lovely. See vessels picked up. Whoops, that's that's the uh, that's the uh, yeah, strange vessel that could hold liquid. Okay, so that's probably the door I came in. Smooth, empty basins line the console. Narrow grooves seem to connect them, and you get a feeling they're part of some kind of machine. Wherever this is, it appears dormant at the moment. It has likely been for been so for a long time. And I just there's Terranize the Hornberry, level of the Thornberry clans to travel. The, okay, yep. So yeah, that technically is a good guy. Smooth empty basins. Wherever this appears to be dormant, the mine has been likely for a long time. The aperture wall is strangely mesmerizing, though at the present you have a feeling it's somehow inactive. You look over the empty basin flanking. Perhaps they are evolved somehow. A strange rebellious substance blocks the road ahead. You expect this to be some kind of door, although there's no mechanism nearby. Okay, I need to, uh... I need to find some liquid. Wait. Fill the vessel. Vessel slots in the machine creature and fills liquid. You take it back. Perhaps this can be of some use? Yeah, let's, let's hope it is. Otherwise, I may be, uh... I'm upset because I think we lost Cat. Let's see, let's see, wait. Fill the bases. Carefully, you empty the liquid. Uh, you empty the. Uh, <laughs> ah, sir, bot got a spam. Got a spam bot. Good. Carefully, you empty the fluid from the vessels into the basins. Seeming to move of its own volition, the fluid spreads from basin to basin through the inner, inner grooves, and slowly the entire room hums into life. It appears you have conjured something back into life. Oh, lovely. Maybe that's a maybe that's what opens the door. Running the door like an idiot. That works. Do I slap? God dang it! Well, what's going on here with this one? This some person. This poor bastard's drawn and quartered. Looks like. Yeah, I think it would have been good if, if uh, he had gotten to do one more one more film as a good guy. It, it, it's like I can see it in my head. A film where he's uh, he starts out, everybody thinks he's the bad guy just because he's grumpy. And he turns out to be a, a good guy. And he's like, the only reason he's a good guy is because I don't even want to be here. Why do people bother me? Just leave me alone. One of these good guys just gets to be the good guy because, well, Dr. Petrov in the hunt for Red October. Oh, I got messed with the console. The interior of the aperture appears like a churning vortex of some black oily substance. Within it, motes of light appear, looking almost like miniature stars that are born and die within the span of moments. Images form, strange geometric shapes that combine and recombine in strange infinite fractals. Looking around for a way to operate the strange machine, your hand passes over the liquid-filled basins. A strangely musical note can be heard. 
The left at first and much stronger as your fingers slightly graze the surface of the liquid. Lovely. Dipping, dipping your fingers into the liquid at different points produces unique notes, almost like playing an instrument, and as you do so, Im the images on the aperture shift. You find yourself mesmerized. The auditory and visceral patterns seem utterly incomprehensible, and yet, there is something there, something stirring in the back of your mind. The longer you play it, the more the strange sounds and images resonate with you. You begin seeing them for what they are. Terms, terms in great, in some great, oh God, break a mother, Getting tongue tied, but you know it's time for ads. So we're just going to switch to BRB and hit those ads and we'll be right back. What? What happened? Did I just, did I just die from reading? Never read, it will kill you. Lesson of the day. Lo, well, I didn't even get to see what it was, Dave. I didn't even know what he said. Here, let, me, let, me, <laughs> let me do this for you then. Let me do this for you. You can't park here. I don't even know if he said anything, it just boom gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Al Black by the bot, yep. What what the what in the world? What in the world? <laughs> I got a few Monto jokes. He's so dumb he threw away a jigsaw because he thought it was broken. He's so dumb he brings a cake to, to bed to have sweet dreams. He's so dumb he puts lipstick on his forehead to make up his mind. <laughs> hey, Big Fanny Plus. He's so dumb he challenged a mirror to a staring contest and lost. He's so dumb he thought eggs came from eggplants. He's so dumb he'd stay up all night trying to catch some sleep. That chimp brain thinks he can fool us by transforming into a monkey, but is only making a fool of himself. There was a contest for world's greatest idiot, and he'd win without even joining. It's so fun to come up with new Monto jokes. Here's one. Monto's so dumb, he brings a ruler to bed to see how he, long he sleeps. Well... Florida bids you a fine farewell. <laughs> Close to dust. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right to see prompt. Thank you. Thank you, Fountain of Dreams. For showing me that your reputation is in fact earned. <laughs> is in fact earned. Let me guess. There's going to be a... There's going to be a twist ending where I have to fight one more thing. <laughs> now there's going to be a twist ending where I fall off the platform. For schemes. I'm the ship's navigator. All right, and we are back. All right. Here we go. The longer you play with it, the more strange the sounds images resonate with you. You begin seeing them for what they are. Terms in some great cosmic equation, a language of pure logic. No longer are the notes mere s mere sounds. With each note, a number resonates, as if sensing your dawning determined. Un uh... Just take tongue tied. I swear to God, as if sensing your dawning understanding, the great machine offers you a prompt: zero one one two three. How do you respond? Well, my first choice would be four. Wait, zero, one.
wait, wait. Is it one of these things where it's like, uh, like, where it's like, like, like No Man's Sky, where they add you a prompt? You gotta do math to say zero plus one equals one. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. Two plus three is five. Fibonacci. No, it can't be six. Yeah, no, it's, it's, am I right? It's, 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 it's five, right? It's gotta be five. Okay, good. Yeah, so it's five. <laughs> You're doing the right thing. Five. Okay, five. I hate math. I hate math so much. The machine prompts you to the next number. Five. Oh, fucking hell. No, be, be, wait, 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 wait. So be one, two, three. So be three. And then five, five, eight. 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 It's eight. It's eight. Prompts you. Fucking hell. Final number eight. Oh, my God. Eight. I can. 13, 13, 13. Oh my God. My brain just went, oh! No one told me, nobody told me it was gonna be a test today. My brain just went, what the hell? And my, 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 I'm sitting on the camera. Stop that, please. A sonorous polyphonic wave of equations issues forth from the aperture. Like a veil being lifted, you find that you now understand the machine's language on an instinctual level. Okay, it's, 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 zero plus one is one, one plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus two is five, five plus three is eight, eight plus five is 13, eight plus 13 is 21, and so on so forth, ad nauseum forever and ever. And my brain strained to think of that one, because good lord. The machine serves at your command. What's going on here? The image is one of deep, uh, timeless sleep. Oh, SiriBot's really going today. <laughs> millennials, m millennials. Mill millennials passing in silence. Then a sound, something banging on the outer skin. Children. They have, disengaged, they have descended from the trees and multiplied, and in their greed for knowledge and power, they now come to disturb us. But something else has crept in. They have torn the veil. It is here now. It claws at our skin. We are holding for now, but we grow weak. Navigator must awaken. Issue another query. Unlock the doors. Machine abides. The inner doors have been unlocked. Uh, another query. Unlock doors. What's going on? Okay, leave. Yep, that's where we came in at. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. Did, I, did I see something real quick? Okay, that's just the ah, it's just the cursor. Let's move the cursor over here so it doesn't. What the fuck? Okay, so we can go in the water. The liquid. Excuse me, sir. Uh, you look a little fricked up there. Just, you know, you okay? No, I hope, no, I hope you're okay. Let me save. Well, when in doubt, go left. Oh. Drina! Uh-oh, please don't tell me she's dead. I need a healer right now. The Drina's whispered prayers echo softly throughout the strange hallway. Over and over, she recites the same lines. She rocks gently back and forth. Drina! I tried to talk to her, to make her see, but it's too late. I couldn't stop her. Who, Embla? She's so close now. He calls to her. I really did try to stop her, Adrina. Oh, well, that's not good. But I see now. We've always come here, and we always will. Go. She will need your help before the end. She lapses back into reciting her prayer. There's nothing more to be done for her. Well, that's lovely. Well, Drina's fucked up. Let me just check. Oh. Lovely! What the hell is this? Well, we lost Cat and Drina. Okay, I didn't get to look at that, but that looks strangely, um, something. You stand in the halls of Titans. No matter, no man was ever meant to see this. Why did you come here? It wasn't, it was her, wasn't it? Or was it? Did you ever really have a choice? Was there some unseen hand driving you towards this doom? 
Breathing fast and head reeling, your eyes fixed on something utterly out of place in its mundanity. A discarded shoe. Embla, look behind you. You sense her before you see her. A luminous, fan luminous phantom in the darkness. Naked and emaciated, there is nonetheless something in her bearing. Acceptance, an aura of maternal comfort. She strokes your cheek. Don't be afraid, daydreamer. We're with him now. What is happening? Come. Look upon him. She takes you by the hand and leads you to the base of the massive throne. Stars flash before your eyes as you force yourself to look at the statue seated on it. Or is it something? More. A sleeping king? A god? Your heart begins racing. You cannot bear standing in his presence. Emma begins laughing as tears stream down her face. A tremor violently shakes the structure and you feel, more than her here, another worldly scream coming from somewhere outside. Emma's eyes are wide. Time is running out. Time is running out. I must do what I was summoned here for, and you must help me. Help you do what? The king must awaken before the dragon reaches him. He slept for so long, and there is so little of his essence left. He needs fresh life. The glass sarcophagus opens as Embla approaches. To your amazement, you see the inside is molded to perfectly fit a human form. The dire implications of the device are unmistakable. No, I can't end like this. It's supposed to take you to your father! Don't you understand? She smiles sadly. I'm already with my father. She softly strokes your cheek. I've always come here, and you've always brought me. Time and again we stood here, in this place, and every time you do the right thing. That is the eternity of my universe now. Him in front, you behind. But you'll die! All things die. But I'll be with him. I wonder if I will look out from behind his eyes. Slowly and painfully, Embla hoists herself onto the rim of the sarcophagus. With much effort, she swings her legs up and lies down in the device. Her body seems to have aged years just since you entered the chamber, but now, look at, of, uh, now a look of utter relief washes over her face. The machine emits an oddly beautiful note. A ritual's begun, and it's time for you to take your part. Interact with the machine. Re really? A torrent of resonant waveform logic floods into you, and the machine now awaits your command. Commence the ritual. A huge tremor once again shakes the craft. The howl that sounds this time is much more forceful. Something is about to breach the craft's outer hull. Embla half-open half eyes remain fixed on you as you feed the machine the harmony that sets the ritual in motion. The faintest trace of a smile plays across her face. Snaking tendrils emerge from holes in the machine, sneaking out the body encased within. She jolts as they plunge into her flesh. For a moment she is quiet. Then she breaks out into violent spasms. The machine begins to whir, and the tendrils, tendril plugs pulsate obscenely with pearl, pearl static motion. It has begun. Let the ritual proceed. The room shakes violently. Light streaming from the anti-womb, anti-womb, lovely, into the sleeping king as Embra, Embla is utterly unmade. He who sat undying for eons stirs. He rises. You're all but an insect at the feet of the gods. All is darkness. 2997 was the year of little note for the Empire. I all is darkness. Lovely. Peace and stability reigned. With one exception. The Outer Isles were lost. The event is extensively documented. The catastrophe was wholly, un wholly natural, albeit tragic. The volcano Cataban awoke after millennia of dormancy. It is written that the plume of smoke could be seen from the mainland. But there were other rumors as well. Sailors claim they saw a new star in the sky the night of Ca Caraban's eruption. Such rumors are not but lies. Let be known after much toil and hardship, Big joins the illustrious ranks of the most holy order of the Persevering Blade. To be one of us is to have spat in the face of death and despair. It is to be one who forges ahead where lesser souls stand trembling. Now onward to glory. You play the game as level 20 officer 76 days. Report thine feet on Twitter. <laughs> so that's it. Wait, that's it? That's it. Embla dies. Everyone dies. I keep forgetting. I love the Cthulhu mythos, 
But I keep forgetting that nothing ever ends happily in, in, in the Cthulhu mythos, because you can't... I'm like, fuck Cthulhu, I'll suplex his ass. Oh, that's literally it. That's, the game just says, nope. It's applied to a computer worm like wave motion and ten intestines. I assume a structure produced by successive contraction of muscular fibers of their walls, forcing their contents onwards. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Kind of soured on the ending. But then again, like I said, that's the Cthulhu mythos. That's the Chozo mythos. Nothing ever ends happily. Everyone dies. You're fucked. That's it. Game over. I'm like, I for once would like a game where I can punch Cthulhu in the face. Like, no, fuck you, Cthulhu. I'm right there. That's just me. Does it, does it go? Does it keep going here? Is that it? Is that literally it? No. Oh, okay. I guess that's it. I guess that's literally it. That's the game. Damn, I could have finished this last last week. <laughs> Two hours long more and I'd have finished it. So this is why I thought of the game. Well, the story was good up until the ending. But then again, like I said, that's a little sour, but that's again, that's the Chozo mythos. You After I go through the leaves you want left. Yeah, I wanna fight the fucking dragon. Let me let me yank him blah. Nah! I'ma fight the son of a bitch! Let me fight him! Basically, everyone dies. So kind of like a sour ending. Kind of like it's like it's like there, there, no no actual resolution. Did we just did we stop the dragon from? Did, thank you for the GG. Did we stop the dragon? Did we did we save him? No, the outer isles were destroyed. Pretty much everyone involved, even the pirate ship, they're all gone. Everyone's gone. Guy just got said screw you. I'm like that's some bullshit. But other than that, the story was good. I liked it very much. I did. I liked it very much. I wonder if there is actually a hidden ending. Let me see. Let me check the, uh... I missed one achievement. And that was... I was defeating the Reaver Chieftains using Wits rather than Brawn. So I basically almost, almost uh, perfected the game, which sucks. I hope they add, like, a, an expansion at some point. See the 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 graphics. Graphics were beautiful. Graphics were utterly beautiful. I loved them. I had no problems with the graphics. Everything was just beautifully well done. This game could have definitely you could have had this on a, on a, on an old style computer, and you no one would be able to tell the difference if it was new or not. Oh yeah, I would love an expansion or something extra, Gonzo. I would love an expansion. I would love an addition. Yeah, a few typos, but nothing major. I would love an expansion where he's like, okay, yank and blow. Save your whole party and go, hey, dragon. And fight him. Um, The music. I love the freaking soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. I think I got the soundtrack when I bought this, so I might have the soundtrack. I can't remember. I mean, if I don't, well... Yep, I got that. Oh, you can also buy the pro, pro uh, prologue soundtrack too. Okay. Yeah, very great. Love this music. The controls. It's it's keyboard and mouse controls. Not really anything major, though. Sometimes if you're not paying attention, you'll run into the wall. The controls do seem a bit sluggish at certain moments. Like if you if you move for a long time, if you let go, you'll move a few extra steps. Not really anything major. Gameplay, I love the gameplay. I love the gameplay. And the fact that you can have like a whole freaking army and all that mess. Um, It just feels like near the end there, it basically takes all agency away from you. And basically you get no, no choice in the matter. You're like, screw you. You know. Again, I understand what they were going for. It's the, it's the Chozo mythos. Nothing ever ends happily. But god dang, I would like some resolution instead of just, you know, throwing you out there and go. That's it. It's kind of like one of those old school games where you finish the game. Here's the windscreen. You done it. Like. <laughs> well, no, it's still a good game. I definitely would go. I definitely urge people to buy it. Um, I, I hope there's an expansion. I really do. I might go back at some point and get the last uh, achievement. I just need to figure out how to do it. <laughs> 
but still a good game. I, I, uh, um, to the dev, if you ever watch this, make an expansion. Fix the ending up a little bit. Thanks for oh yeah yeah I gave I gave it to Dave there for his birthday. And he's already on playthrough number two. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, well we beat the game. Uh, anything else I can do here? No, nope, just literally just. The game went window mode. Oh crap! It literally yeah I see it, it just went window mode, which kind of sucks. Do that, please make twenty eight more expansions. Right there. Yeah. I don't like, also, I don't like this. I don't like it just locking you to this screen and that's it. I don't like that. So, so I just, I just exit out the game, huh? That's it, huh? Well, since that's done, I need to start a new game, I guess. 